if you don't know, if you don't know, they then sold out the charity match crazy fast, bro. Still makes no sense to me. 60,000 tickets. Like, that. that's such an insane number, man. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Let's see what's going on. See what the boys got to say about their success. Now, the uh, very popular YouTube group, the Sidemen, are set for another charity football match. Last year, they sold out the Valley, and this year's match is taking place at the London Stadium. We might they need to check that out. 62,000 tickets this morning in 90 minutes, with the match set to take place on September 9th. All right, our reporter, Daniel Khan. Last year, the YouTube group, the Sidemen, sold out Charlton's Valley Stadium in what was an incredible charity match. They won 8-7 on that occasion. This year, on September 9th, They've just sold out the London Stadium, West Ham's iconic uh, Premier League venue. I'm joined by two of the Simon now, Ethan. Like, and how crazy is that? Is if there's anybody that watches this that has ever been to a West Ham game before, how crazy is it to think that like the Sidemen are now about to pack that same arena? Like, that's wild, bro. That's wild. Like a whole team of people it took, in like all of the years and years of love that it takes to like sell out. A stadium like that and now the sidemen are able to do something like that bro and they're just going to keep going up like it's literally just going to keep getting bigger especially if they keep on showing out like it's always a fun show and jay i can only imagine yeah, what it's like being there live congratulations you sold out today in 90 minutes how does that, that boy be? bez look um, dead yes yeah, a little bit of a, a dream really you don't really think that we've got the ability to bring 62,000 plus people to a stadium to watch uh, us play football I knew it was going to happen <laughs> I knew we're just massive the sidemen are huge what? global I mean I knew it was going to happen I mean you, you tweeted a picture today of like 50,000 plus in the queue yeah. I mean you're right <laughs> it is yeah madness. I mean I tried getting tickets myself and you know it said there was an hour wait yeah I was like hell no and uh, yeah, I saw what after nine minutes, it already sold out. So it is what it is. <laughs> so I mean, you just bro. I was on the toilet. I want to say it was like, what time was it? It was like three a.m. my time. Had to be like three or two a.m. Something like that. And I just remember clicking on the link. I got the alert one minute afterwards, and there was already like twenty to thirty thousand people sitting in the queue. Like I couldn't even just go in and like one minute after the link was live like that's insane bro it's insane just like you wanted to get tickets you are playing though right <laughs> <laughs> just double checking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Ethan of course you're a huge West Ham fan yeah. you went to the conference league final we'll touch on them in a minute but for you to play at your team stadium I mean what's yeah, going to be when we was getting into the planning and organizing for the event when we were looking at the different venues that we could have played in as soon as sort of London Stadium come up and how helpful they've been with it. Um, yeah, dream come true. I've been in a tunnel once before. Uh, what is that like too? Ham, but this time actually doing it and going up. I wish we could hear more info about that. I want to know like what that experience is like. Like how do you like hit up somebody and tell them like, hey, just trust us. Like we'll be able to make this a real thing. And all the people that doubted them. I'm, imag I'm trying to just imagine how all the other stadium people that denied them how they feel now after they just sold out in less than two hours. Like, what? That let's play. This is your first time going. What? To West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. JD, obviously a big Arsenal fan. Are you got to do all the the Emirates? Uh, I, I'm a little bit guided, but uh, we did try, uh, and it just didn't work out, so... You know, Maybe perhaps West in the Ham future. Do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and how, I mean, compared to the Valley last year, it's really interesting. I spoke to a few of the stewards last year before the match, and they were saying, you know, we haven't seen fans like this before mm. the game for years. I mean, to sell out somewhere like the London Stadium, big events there in the past, the Olympics, you know, athletic since then. Incredible. Yeah. Well, our fans are crazy. True. Like, <laughs> how early in the morning is this, chat? Crazy, so. Do they record these yeah, interviews? Yeah, they waiting out hours. Just, you know, getting ready to see us. It's like a full day event for them. Like, they'll get their early doors. They'll probably go mm. around, like, the fan zone mm. and sort of yeah. stuff outside. Just to really take the whole day in, I think. 
Uh, and just touching a bit on the football side of things, of course, Ethan, JJ, West Ham, Arsenal. Mm. There's one signing that's kind of dominated <laughs> the yeah. summer, Declan yeah. Rice. Yeah, it looks like that's going to happen yeah. very <laughs> imminently. Is it, uh, we, we, are, we are friends. We are friends. What, what, what happened? What happened? Well, give us the scoop. Uh, we'll give you the scoop. <laughs> no, it's very simple. Listen, footballers are here to do a job. They mm. are employees of clubs. And if someone offers you a, a, a raise or a better position at a job, you're going to take it, aren't you? So... JJ, very it's smart over there. Exactly, the game is the game. Yeah, the game. And I've, I've heard I he's reported it. to be on 300, 350 grand a week. Yeah. And you know what? I'm never going to hate for anything. <laughs> 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 I'm not earning that much money a week. Yeah. Uh, JJ, from the Arsenal side of things, I bet oh, you're fine That's exactly what we needed. You know, we needed depth in the squad. I think that's one of the reasons why we <laughs> failed last season. Uh, a few players got injured, and all of a sudden, the uh, league uh, went away from us. So I he think has no idea now, what he's saying. We're surely going to win the league. <laughs> and JJ, just also, it sounds like you're going to get a few other signings like Timber and a few yes. other additions. I mean, do you I think, think... I think we already have Timber. Yeah. Uh, from what I've, Sounds pretty close, yeah. but do you think next year you can build on that second? Uh, well, I think we're looking at getting Chouameni as well, uh, as well as <laughs> Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, oh, oh, JJ! JJ! That's JJ. A bit of a oh, yeah. It's Arsenal. <laughs> what? We are, Huge. If you lot got relegated and you signed a guy called Timber, it'd be a really good joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down. <laughs> uh, and even just finally, uh, talking about the football, from the, that's that'd be too bad. Leaving, yeah. But you obviously won the Conference League. Yeah. You were there. I mean, ambitions for next year and how happy with David Moyes. Uh, listen, more European honours than you, boss. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a European trophy. He's done everything he could for us. Uh, so leaving for 105 million quid, take that, reinvest it into the squad. Got Europa League next year, which is important. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can finish higher in the table again. Because about two, three years ago, we looked like we were solidifying the top six, sort of uh, floating around there. So back on our feet after selling him and uh, <laughs> see where we can get. Uh, and just finally, score prediction for the charity match on September 9th. Jay, do start with you? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say 10-0. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to score at all. Okay. Yeah. Really you, yeah, yeah. Do you already have like a goalkeeper? Ten nil. Do you already have a good oh, idea? Of I feel like there's a really, anything? really good goalkeeper <laughs> who's going to make sure no goals okay. enter the back of the net. Nice. Even. I believe in our goalkeeper too. <laughs> but I do think he's going to leak one. So I'm going to go. With Why do I have this feeling that Why, is JJ going to be goalkeeper? And I'm scoring four of them. <laughs> and I'm scoring oh, four. What are you talking about? Absolutely. You'll leave the defense. You will not see me in defense. Oh, God. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Congratulations again on the side out. 90 you. minutes. Thank the side men have their charity match at the London Stadium on September 9th. That's got to be so crazy, bro. I'm, I'm still just trying to imagine what that feeling's got to be like. It's going to be insane, bro. You're just like, what? What? Like, they're sitting there. They, I saw, bro, all the tweets went out at the same time. I got, like, my, my phone was wild. I'm sitting here looking through TikToks, being a slut as normal, you know, normal horror m maneuvers at, what was it, like, 3 a.m., you know what I mean, on TikTok. I'm just chilling, hella ass, hella ass, boom, mini mentor. I'm like, bro, chill. I'm already shitting. This is crazy. Slide that up. Boom, Toby. I'm like, what the fuck? Boom, Bez. What the fuck is up? Boom, JJ. Boom, Sidemen. Sidemen retweet. Sidemen retweeted all their tweets. I'm like, God damn it. Why do I have all of their notifications on? And then boom, bro. As soon as I got done pooping, laid down a little bit, I woke up. They were sold out. They were sold out. Crazy. Crazy, man. Congratulations to the bros, man. I hope they keep going crazy.